Hi guys, so in today's video I am going to be testing out two different types of eyeliners which I've got recently and not gonna lie, they seem a little bit gimmicky. I feel like brands keep coming out with all these weird like crazy ideas which don't actually really work that well just because they want to like catch people's attention. I don't even know, I mean I haven't tested these so they could potentially work really well and I could just eat my words but in my recent PR haul I mentioned this like wheel eyeliner this wheel eyeliner I have one by nude sticks I know that I think Revlon has one and Mac has one and they are eyeliners that literally have a little wheel to do your eyeliner somehow it's supposed to help and then yesterday in the post I got a PR package from Lottie London and they sent a stamp eyeliner and I've seen like the little silicone stamp things which is supposed to help um you know do your eyeliner wing. I've also tested out some eyeliner stencils in the past and they were a complete fail but this one has got like an actual wing stamp and you're supposed to just be able to stamp on your wing like if this works, it could literally be life-changing. Um, so I thought I would test them in this video, see if they're actually any good, see if they're actually worth spending your money on because um, no one wants to waste money on makeup. If you guys enjoy these types of videos of me testing out like new things on my face, then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And also if you're new here and you like these kind of videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And let's just get on to putting these on my eyes. <laughs> Oh, I've just knocked over my lipsticks. By the way, if you ever wonder what lipstick or what highlighter I'm wearing, it's always written in the description box down below. And also, like, when I do makeup videos, um, I always try my best to find the products and link them down below as well. I don't know which one to test first, because the nude sticks one is the wheel one. This one is, like, £20. I think the Lottie London one is, like, £7-ish. You know what? Let's do the cheaper one first. So it says on here, wings made easy, stamp eyeliner, stamp and eyeliner duo. So on one side, it's got, like, a fat marker. Like, it's pretty thick, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm used to having quite a skinny little eyeliner pen, so I'm not really sure how how well I'm gonna be able to do my eyeliner with this side. So that's, like, the bit that you do that's not the flick. You go, you know what, you know what I mean? Just, like, the, the, the bit above your eyelashes. And then this side has literally got a triangle stamp. I am hoping you can kind of see this and see what I mean. Literally got a triangle. Is that in focus? No. Is that in focus? Hopefully. Yes, yeah, see? And then this one, which is called the Black Moon Rock and Roller Easy Eyeliner Ink. It's said on like the information leaflet that this is supposed to make your eyeliner easier. Whether or not that is true, I do not know. I have seen other videos, um, like I've seen other people upload videos testing out these roller eyeliners, but I haven't actually watched any of them because I didn't want it to like change my opinion or whatever. I wanted to give like my actual first impressions. Um, so this one is in a little pot and then the brush, it's not a brush and I can't do two fingers, is literally a wheel. Can you guys see that? It's literally a wheel. Like it's a wheel. It wheels like this. That is the weirdest thing. I just like went to rub off the eyeliner from my hand and it actually just kind of like peeled off. So I think I'm gonna do the stamp one on this side and the roller one on this side and um, I'm just gonna see how it goes. So I'm starting off with the Lottie London one and have I got a mirror? Mirror would help. Okay, so I'm using this fat pen to do the line. It's kind of tricky because I already have mascara on. I have been out all day in London today so I did already have my makeup on. So I'm just gonna try and do this over the top, which I know is kind of annoying, but there was no point me taking off my mascara, really. It's not actually as difficult as I thought it would be to use because it's actually pretty thin at the end. Like, it's got a nice point. God, it's so hard to do eyeliner when your mascara is like dry and getting in the way. So far, so good. This side works really nicely. It's really black, really pigmented, as you can see. Um, so I've just done that initial line. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I have a feeling this is gonna mess up my whole face. Okay, so I'm gonna try and line it up and then stamp. Oh, you know what? That actually kind of worked. Hmm, it's really annoying. Like, it hasn't quite worked all the way. I wanna go over it again. Let's give you a little close up. So, even though I angled it like I kind of angled it where I thought my normal eyeliner would go, but the triangle is very kind of triangular. So it, it did it pretty much like in a 
I don't know, I just feel like maybe I angled it a bit too high up. Um, and also it's it creates quite a short wing, like normally I extend my wings out like a little bit further. Um, and it is kind of like, uh, I've definitely done it at too high of an angle. But you know what? I mean, it did actually make a little wing. Like, I think I would then go back in and neaten it up a bit and kind of connect the line a bit more because I feel like it just looks a bit disjointed. There's kind of like a, a missing bit here, if you see what I mean. And because I've done eyeliner like 500 million times, um, I'm okay at it. I'm definitely not the best. But I feel like if you were really, really bad at doing your winged eyeliner, this it looks okay, it looks pretty decent. So what I'm now gonna do is actually go back in with this uh, pen and just like connect that line a little bit more. Okay, now this feels like it's dried up, I'm so confused. As I'm going back over it, it's kind of getting rid of the eyeliner because it's dried already. Um, it's quite difficult to go back over, so I've just given this a bit more of a shake. But like, you know when an eyeliner feels like it's dried up? And it just kind of removes the patch of eyeliner that you've just put on. So now that I've gone back over it, I kind of just like extended the line and like made it a bit more smooth. I felt like before it was just a bit too like angular, it was kind of like um, Whereas I just kind of like rounded it off a bit and then I extended it. And you know what, that actually looks pretty damn good. Something I do think this eyeliner will be good for is like just using it as a guideline. Like if you really, really struggle to do your wing liner, um, using the little stamp as a guideline actually works pretty well. And then I just kind of went back in and like extended the wing and made it a bit more sharp because it doesn't create like that sharp of a wing. It actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. However, I do think you've got to be careful to get the right angle because like, I don't know, I just feel like if you got this at the wrong angle, it would print a really weird, like, because the bottom of the triangle has got like a weird shape on it. If you printed it in the wrong place, it would look really odd and it would probably completely mess up your makeup and you'd have to start again. So I think I just got lucky and, you know, placed it in the right sort of place and it worked okay. Okay, moving on to eyeliner number two for my other eye. I'm now scared that I'm gonna end up with like two completely uneven wings, which I probably am, but. Oh well. So I'm just gonna give this a shake and then you open it up and what ha what it has is just like a little um, dip thing where you dip the, that made no sense. You just kind of dip the brush into the pot and then it gets the eyeliner on here. The only thing I'm worried about is that sometimes when you dip it in you get loads of eyeliner on here and then I don't know, I feel like it would kind of like bleed and make loads of, not like blood, but like, <laughs> I feel like the eyeliner would kind of run. I don't know where to start. Do I start close to my lash line? I'm wheeling. I'm wheeling. Oh my god, it feels so strange. It kind of tickles. It's really weird. Okay, so far it's definitely not making this easier because the little wheel is kind of flat and it doesn't bend. I'm kind of finding it quite hard to get the inner corners. Okay, it's a little bit tricky to use, I'm not gonna lie. Like, cause it just makes, like, it's hard to curve it. Okay, let's dip back into my little pot. Okay, here is the moment of truth, I'm trying the wing. Oh God, I went at the wrong angle, I've messed it up. Okay, we have a wing. That wing actually looks pretty nice, but I found it really difficult um, to make like a nice smooth line because the actual like little wheel doesn't bend and it kind of goes in a straight line You have to make sure that when you place it on your face to like color in the wing You have to make sure that you're you know You're doing it in the exact same direction as the wing Otherwise you end up with like a random line down here when you go back in the wheel just kind of blends in with the eyeliner So you can't really see which way you're holding it and like I don't know It's just a little bit tricky it's very black like i don't know if you can tell the difference between the two um it's very black and very like matte okay it's still kind of wet and drying and as you can see like it's a little bit uneven up here just because like i said it doesn't bend you can't really do it in like a smooth line but to actually do the point like that is a precise wing like it worked actually really well to do that again it was kind of easier to use than i was expecting um, but it just was a little bit like fiddly to use. You know what? I can't even decide which one I prefer because they both kind of worked the same like they were okay But I would still rather use a normal eyeliner. I have to say that I wasn't really expecting either of these to work and 
Would I go outside with this eyeliner on? Yeah, I think it looks decent. Okay, so overall, do I think that these eyeliners are actually worth the money? Uh, in all honesty, I would rather just buy a normal eyeliner. It's a cool idea, it's a cool concept, I get where they're coming from, and yeah, I think it is like a little bit of a gimmick, but people definitely are interested in buying this. It was kind of fun to like try out and play around with. Um, so if you are, interested in finding some new eyeliners and like you know maybe this works for people maybe it is a life changer for some people and it just didn't work for me you know everything works differently for different people um so if you guys are interested in any of these i will link them down below let me know what you guys think down below also let me know if there's any other um gimmicky makeup items that you want me to test because i do enjoy testing them they are pretty fun i hope you're all doing well and i will see you in my next video bye